Hey everybody, it's uh, me and my boyfriend Nicole. I'm Aurora. And I'm the boyfriend Nicole. And uh, hey, how you doing? First time. Woo. What are we going to talk about? We're really doing this. We're doing it. Hey. Hey. We can talk about how I became your lover. You want to be my lover. (laughs) Don't strike me, YouTube. (laughs) Right. You know that song? Yes. Okay, good. I do. That's right. You were there in the 90s. I was. I was. I had a lot of fun in the 90s. We will be discussing that throughout this podcast series. Yes, a lot of fun in the 90s. Mm. 2000s. Was, do we mm. want to talk about how old I was? In comparison when, to me? Oh, well. Why don't we wait and leave that as, like, you know, well, something to be discovered later? Ooh. Right? Love that. Exactly. When we get intimate. <laughs> <laughs> we get very intimate. Mm-hmm. But not with each other. No, no. No, that's she's not actually my boyfriend. People just think she is. Tease. Look, we've already established <laughs> that we are not into each other in any type of way remotely no. at all. I love you I with love my you. whole heart and soul. It's, my, it's just not my pussy. Fair. Same. Fair. Sweet. Tight. Hi. Wonder Twins Unite. All right. Yes. Um, turn into... Well, I'm feeling like a raccoon today. I don't know. Are you? I really like raccoons. Can I be a frozen dildo? <laughs> Are you going to need it? <laughs> uh, well, after this morning, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody out there know where you can get like a popsicle mold to make for those I'm sure they have passionate a... lovers? Or, or when you're loving yourself a little too hard. Whatever. Mm. Mm. I'm sure we can find you a nice silicone mold. You think so? Yeah. I mean, I know we don't shop on Amazon anymore, but like, well, Walmart, ugh. Target? 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 Target. I don't know that Target has that. I'm sure they have a mold. Like, they have like the popsicle mold. Right? But does it need to be, do you need to have different size molds? Or should it just be one? I think that's a very personal question for you, and maybe you could decide. Well, I didn't know. Like, should it be bigger if, if maybe the reason it was hurting is because it was bigger? Or should it be smaller so it... It helps it to get back down, or like I don't know what. What's your theory there? Do you use lube if it's frozen? Do you not? I'm thinking lube, yes. Maybe the warm. I guess that's a ding. Yes, that's the right <laughs> answer. Silence your phones, please. The show is about to start. Whoopsie. Um, I didn't get that memo. That's all right. No, okay. Let's. What's my philosophy here? So you actually already, have a philosophy here. Well, I don't know if it's a philosophy. Okay. Let me let me hypothesize. Hype it, baby. What I think you would need in that situation. Mm-hmm. I would go smaller. Smaller? Well. How small? And is that length and girth, or is that just girth? I was assuming girth. Were you talking length? I was, I was thinking girth, but maybe as long. <laughs> as. Is that too far? Dude, that was a foot and a half that that bitch had out. How? Oh, what kind of lovers do you have? What? I'm all happy, like, about, um... No, I was, I'm was. i just going based off of what you told me. I'm trying to make sure I get the proper length here. Right? No, no, no. Um, No, I would say as long, slightly smaller. Slightly smaller? I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe same size, just to... Somewhere in the... So are you saying same size as my punani or same size as said utensil that was used to create the act of, um, mm, mm-hmm. mm, what would you call that? Of friction, uh. the friction mission down here. Uh, I don't know. Hi, dad. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 don't be bragging about your healthy <laughs> relationships with your parents right now, okay? It's a little early for that, okay? Well, after this... That's, was... a, that's a third date trauma thing you Well, discussed. we've been on quite a few dates, so... But not not with our new friends. Oh, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Right? This they're is the first date. You gotta slow them into it, you know? Well, you like wanna sex give, with, you like know, a... a big cock. What? Oh, what? <laughs> okay, anyway. cock doodle doo What? What? No. You know, I'm thinking, like, you want to just give a hint of your trauma... That way they decide if they want to go on that second date and they want to invest in the third. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As you're texting somebody? No, I'm... A very serious conversation we're having right here about ice, and you're over here having... I sh- am not. I was just, maybe, I don't know. I mm-hmm. Maybe I was making sure that cock was still available, okay? Oh, How about oh, so that? so you finally decided to reach out like I've been telling you to do all evening. <laughs> oh, we're going there? No, actually, he texts me. Oh, so now you feel right. I feel... I felt fine before, Aurora. That has nothing to do with who I am as a person or how I feel about myself. How dare you? But I'm feeling much better now. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) That sounded like a lot of deflection. It's 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 a new thing, and Uh um, we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that. No, we're not going to talk about that. We're going to say we are just enjoying life. Now that he's texted you. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying that, you know, life is beautiful and it is what you make it. <laughs> and uh, those beautiful surprises that come crashing into you, you know. Literally. Like bees. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> you know, Bumble makes you. Humble. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. Ugh, anyway. Or is, is that just how I feel when I'm on my knees? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Well. Clutches pearls. Right? I should put that in my profile next time. Oh, so now you're going to need another profile. No! Oh, my God. Why are you looking into things? That was you, a joke. That's literally what you said. It was a joke. It was a joke. I was just saying... No. I'm just saying. But now that there's pressure, not like this is it forever and ever. I don't know. You know I'm just saying, like, this is going good. Hey, it's really new. Would you stop? <laughs> literally, you're talking yourself <laughs> into a hole. I'm literally just looking at you and watching you just, like, dig deeper oh and deeper. Oh, my God. You know, my, let, okay. I'm going to get real for just a second. I don't know that I want you to, but go ahead. No, this is going to say a lot about me and not a lot about you. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I'm really interested now. I was only half interested before. Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> no, okay, so you want to know my favorite moment in life? Like, really favorite moment? Hair pulling, ass smacking, nose picking. No. It's a geeky moment. Is it a Grey's Anatomy moment? Uh, kinda, actually, yes. <laughs> I knew it. Everything go ahead, can go, go ahead. back to Grey's. Um, Episode 47. No, 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 no. no. My favorite moment in life mm. is to watch someone completely fall apart. Oh, Lord. I've told you this before. You have. it. As soon as you started coming out, I was like, oh, I know this. My favorite moment is to watch someone completely, like, fall to pieces. You know, that sounds really evil. I know, and I don't mean it that right? way. Right, but, okay. Let me explain further, because it sounds Because I was like going to say what my favorite moment is, and we've had this discussion. No, let me explain go ahead. further. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I know I sound like a serial killer right now, but it's no. not... No. That's not what makes you sound like a serial killer, but go ahead. There are other things. There are other things. Go ahead. Anyway, no, I love that moment when someone is, like, really, like, in a crisis, and then they realize, like, oh, shit, my life is just not going the way that I want it to be going right now. Mm -hmm. And then they decide, I'm going to do something different. Like, that, like, little spark Mm -hmm. of, like, where you've reached rock bottom, and now... You're going to put yourself back together mm-hmm. and, like, really build yourself up to who you want to be. I love that. Like, to me, that's, like, really what it means to be a human. To, like, get knocked down and then, like, build yourself back up. Right. Like, I think that's really beautiful. That's, like, my favorite moment in life. I just phrase it like I it, like to it cut is. up people it, it, and put it them in my freezer. It is a beautiful moment. And one of my my favorite things is the fact that, for me, one of the most beautiful moments in life is when you or you see someone, especially somebody you care about, who has hit rock bottom, Mm -hmm. you know, and then makes that decision to climb back up, Mm -hmm. you know, that is like, this is not going to destroy me, you know, this will not happen to me again, this is going to make me stronger, whatever it is, right? Mm -hmm. But the way you phrase it (laughs) is like, totally different, you know. but I want to scare people away with my crazy, that way no one... You were supposed to be the sane one on this show. Is that what we agreed to? I'm pretty sure that's what we agreed to. Oh. Did we not make that pact on the beach in Alaska? I don't think... When I looked into your eyes and I said, I need you. Help me to help me. No? Fulfill my dreams. I mean, what are your dreams? No? You remember that moment? I mean, I remember that moment. Yeah. I don't think it was 
I don't think we Oh, agreed. maybe I was being too honest right now. No, how no, it no. Went for me. I don't think we agreed that I was going to be the sane one. No, but I thought earlier today we did. Yeah, probably at one point. Right? No. You're the OCD one. You're the one that makes the list and checks them off. And I'm the one that shows up, you know? Are you calling me Santa Claus? Was that Santa Claus? Yeah, he's like, I thought the that was, that sounded more like to me, like, you know, the red stapler, but okay. What's the red stapler? Are you serious right now? Yeah. What the hell is that? You've never heard of that? Like, no. What? The red stapler? What is, no, for real, what is that? That's from a movie. A, which movie? Now I can't remember the name of it. Oh, okay. I got a brain fart. Look it up. That's what Google's for. Is that what Google's for? Yeah. Google is you know how like crazy Google is. I cannot believe I can't think of it right now. The red stapler. That sounds terrifying. What is the red stapler? I, I'm asking you that. <laughs> um. Let's see here. Oh my anyway, god! Well, it was for, it's where the guy has the stapler, and it's not the office. What is it? Everybody out there is like going, "Duh! It's this." Look. I've literally never heard of that. It's like a show. No, it was a movie. Red Stapler. Yes. Am I showing my age right now? It is Office Space. I thought it was The Office. It's Office Space. I don't even know what that... Well, I think I've... Who's in that? Uh, Lots of people. Oh, my gosh. Really? Okay, so... So, people hate their jobs, right? And they uh-huh. work in cubicles and okay. everything. Okay. All right? Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. And so... um, So... Like, this one guy loses his mind after they take, like, a fax machine outside, him and his friends, and, like, beat up the fax machine okay. with, like, a baseball bat and everything, right? Uh-huh. Okay. You really have no idea what I'm talking about, right? I feel like I've seen, like, like that movie, but I'm... Right? Like, it's, I know of that movie, but i It's I've about, like, it. going crazy, being stuck in a cubicle, no windows, like... Okay. Working, and, like, no matter what you do, it's not enough, and there's, like, seven or eight bosses, and they're all telling you, you suck, you know? Okay. Yeah. So, basically... Yeah. The exact opposite of this podcast. Absolutely. All the jobs we did before this that wanted, made us want to do this podcast, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Um, yes. And so, we the people. Um, <laughs> oh, that's like real throwback right there. <laughs> oh, now you're trying to say I'm showing my age again. Okay. No, anyway. no, 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 no. Real throwback to the beginnings of what this podcast was going to be. Oh, even do you better. That yes. was going to be your name. Oh, I forgot about that. Remember? We were like so excited about it, too. I know. I know. Well, there you go. It was subconsciously right there waiting to pop mm-hmm. out of my mouth. So Red Stapler guy mm-hmm. is this guy who's like very OCD. Uh-huh. It would be like your twin. Okay. I'm really not. Am I really that OCD? You, you hide it really well, but I know. <laughs> I can see the look in your face when you tell me everything's fine. It's not a big deal. And I was like, oh, you had a plan for how this was supposed to go. I never have a plan. Uh-huh. My plan involves showing up as close as I can to the time that you said, or anybody said, mm-hmm. and then um, doing something during that time, Uh huh. and having laughs, and then, like, we're done. Bing! Okay. You have, like, before we get there, what our homework is, and then, like, what we're going to do, and I'm just talking for a regular outing, you know? What? And then what we're going to do when we're there, and then, like, you know... How each conversation is going to go. No. And then what we do at the end. And then make sure you put your dishes away. And then, like, how we're going to get home. Yes. Okay. No. But Red Stapler. Well, can I tell you about Red Stapler? Guy, you get so mad we don't finish it a thought. No, okay? no, no. Okay. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm doing a lot so of stuff. So right he's now. all like, it's my Red Stapler. It's more like, it's my Red Stapler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Yes. Let me hear that again. Sorry. It's my red stapler. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay. Because, you know, people come over and take your outfit supplies, and then uh-huh. you're like, where the fuck's my stapler, right? Mm-hmm. Well, it was his, and it was red, and it's his. It's my red stapler. <laughs> and, yeah, and he goes crazy. And so these people come in, and mm-hmm. they're doing, like, um, big layoffs, you know, because they're oh, downsizing okay. and stuff, and realize they don't need all these people working for them. Right. You know? And so, they keep trying to tell him that he's lost his job or whatever, um, but they keep moving him around to different places. I think they're kind of scared of him. Of the red stapler guy? Yeah. I mean, I would be too. Yeah. If someone's literally hunched over a red yeah. stapler like and Gollum. So, 
they're moving them all these different places, you know, around like, and it keeps going closer and closer to the basement, like oh, the back. Shit. Oh, they're like, trying to get him to quit, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he has the red tape with him everywhere, and so then he feels comfortable, like a safety right? blanket. I don't want to, and I don't want to ruin the end for you or for anybody else that hasn't seen Office Space. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Spoiler alert! Right? My bad. I'm not going to say it, but I'm just going to say he goes a little crazy, a uh, little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, crazy. And, um, but he does leave with his red stapler. Well, that, that's a non-negotiable. Right, exactly. That's his red stapler. But, you know. I feel like I should be insulted by you calling me red stapler. (laughs) But somehow, I feel truly seen. (laughs) I love you so much. Oh my God, I wish my pussy could get wet for you. Life would be so much easier. Oh, not goodness. that it doesn't get excited for women. That's not it. But you're just like, you're my bestie. I love you. You're my like best friend. And like, oh, right. I'm emotionally fungus for you. Like you'll never get rid of me. I know. I'm like, like toe fungus. Like that's it. Ooh, Once we've com- we have a commitment now, and you better be nice to me because I will spread. Like you know <laughs> what I mean? Is <laughs> that a threat? <laughs> no, it's the love that I feel for you. I will just. Spread and smother you in that love until you're like, <laughs> thank you. We are one, <laughs> but Eventually only emotionally. Thanking you. You should be thanking me. I do every day because I'm just sticking to that one big toe. I'm loving you from there, and I'm not going. Look, all the way okay. Across. This is how I know that I like you, Nicole. <laughs> what? I call you every day. Every day. Oh my god! I get and if so it bothers excited. you, let me know. Oh, please. I like to start my Bring day with it. you. You know I need lots of attention. I know you do. Lots of attention. And you make me feel bad because I feel like you don't like me, which I do like you. I don't know why you feel like I, A, try to get rid of you, or B, don't like you. That's not true. We've moved past that. Have in we? the beginning of the Have relationship. Have I finally made you feel I've, comfortable? In the beginning of the relationship, I felt like you kept blowing me off. No, I don't. I felt like I was having to stalk you, and I was like, you really will love me if you just love me. You know, like, if you just let it happen. <laughs> Shh, don't talk. Just let it happen. If you just let it happen. Did you chloroform me? <laughs> I tried. You're too fucking quick. I couldn't do it. <laughs> uh, I was like, shh, little baby, don't say a word. We're going to be besties if it hurts. No, what? What? <laughs> I don't know what that was. I don't want it to hurt. Anyway. Sometimes love hurts. Not the, well, I would say not the good kind. Excuse me. Oh, gosh, no. Miss Frigadink. What uh, the whoa, hell are whoa, you talking whoa, about? Whoa, no, whoa. no, no. Earlier, 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 earlier. Whoa, I was whoa, like, whoa. I was like, oh, you like your little freaking little pain <laughs> with your love, don't you? And you were like, little bit. And it wasn't like little bit, like one inch. It was little bit, like half a ruler. It wasn't half a ruler. Oh, it was. It was like three. Uh, that small. is not three inches. Obviously, you don't have white cock. Because <laughs> <laughs> your three inches is way off, baby. Go back down. I have there small hands. <laughs> <laughs> Everything looks bigger in my hands. No. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, you're trying to say I got big man hands? Is that why I'm the boyfriend? Well, you're the boyfriend for other reasons. Let's discuss that. Why you're always my boyfriend? Yeah, and how we decided with this name. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so originally, well, I guess originally, we were going to be We the People. Mm-hmm. And then that, I, that, I don't know where that idea went. just fell away. We never really wrote anything down. And then this podcast was going to be with my brother. Hi, Daniel. Hi. You'll hear him in a later podcast. Yes, the professor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, it was going to originally be Nicole and my brother Daniel. Because Nicole was like, I want to do a podcast, but I want someone to like talk to. And I was like, well, I want to be behind the camera. and like the producer, like right? the voiceless, like sarcastic. Yeah, because I wanted you to do or it with me. faceless voice. And you were like, he no. I was, just, anyway, I didn't want to be in front of the camera. But okay. So I was just going to be this, like, faceless voice from the void, offering sarcastic, asshole comments as I am prone to do. Mm-hmm. And it was going to be you and Daniel. And you guys were called Mooney and the Wolf. Yes, because my mother uh-huh. named me Moonbeam. 
May she rest in peace. Yes. Wherever she may be. Ooh. What? She could be a cardinal outside. Why are you taking that to a negative place? I'm sorry. <laughs> don't be don't be reading all my feelings right this second. Can I'm we sorry. save that for episode two? Oh, third date material. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. I was trying to push that line, that border, <laughs> that boundary. I can't help it. Okay. Um, yeah, so she named Moonbeam. My mom was a big hippie. Uh-huh. Uh, and like 19 or 20. Not that that's anything. I mean, I had my first one 19. Psycho. Anyway, um, so my grandmother told her she would disown her if she put that on the birth certificate. So she was watching soap operas like so many other chicks my age, and she named me Nicole. Mm. Yeah. Nicole's a nice name. Right? I do like Moon Mead more. It's a little more, a little more fun, a little more punchy. Right? I know, but my grandmother was like, everybody's going to call her Mooney and be mooning this poor child her whole life. Which they probably would have. Probably. Yes, but I do love the moon. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing wrong with a little, you know, booty vision. Mm. Mm. I sometimes enjoy that. I know you do. I do. There's nothing wrong with that. A big, juicy ass. Okay, Sir mix a lot. <laughs> anyway, I like big butts in a can. I lie. You, oh wait, sorry, we can't sing. No, well, can't. we can't. Period. Well, excuse you, ma'am. I can carry a tune. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> um, but where the wolf came from was my brother in high school. Uh, all his little friends told him that he looked like a werewolf mid transformation because mm-hmm. of his face. Mm -hmm. Which I think is hilarious. So his nickname was Wolf. Like, so much so his nickname was Wolf that he was named Wolf in his yearbook. Like, they didn't know his real name. Little Wolfie. Yeah. Ow! Ow! (laughs) Um, So, yeah, you guys were going to be Mooney and the Wolf. And then we kind of took that on. And then we realized, because originally you were Mooney and I was the Wolf. Mm -hmm. Um, Right. Daniel kind of... Decided he didn't want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Which was fine. Yeah. I think it was more that that you decided you wanted to do it <laughs> and you didn't need Daniel was more what it was. Uh, sure. Whatever. <laughs> I love you. I just uh, so, wanted you to come play with me. I always want to come play with you. Okay. You bring out the child in me. Oh, you bring out almost an adult in me. Almost. I'm yeah, so like close, an y'all. older teenager. By the end of this, yes. we're going to make an adult out of you. Honey, I ain't never going to be over 21. That's fine. It might be as 21 long as you can with a couple, drink. Of, couple of decades of experience, but it's going to be 21. That's okay. As long as we can <laughs> legally drink together, we're fine. Of course. But we're always over 18. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Anyway. Mm-hmm. So we dropped Mooney and the Wolf. Right. And Daniel. And, oh, and, well, I wasn't going to say we dropped Daniel, but damn. <laughs> um, no. But we realized, <laughs> like, that there's a little Mooney and a little Wolf in all of us. Mm-hmm. And, a little hippie and a little straight. Yeah. Right? But then the whole name of me and my boyfriend, Nicole, came to you. Right? Yeah, we had listened to one of our podcasts. Yeah, one of the ones that we did. And we were talking about some things that had happened to us, such as how whenever we go out, people always assume that we are... A couple. A lesbian couple. Yes. Oh, they don't even always assume that. The drag show here oh, in town. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, we can talk about that. That's a funny story. Yeah. But anyway, people always assume we're together for the most part. Nothing, not that there's anything wrong with being lesbian or a couple, whatever. That's no, not the issue. No, but we're not. But we're not, which right? is fine. I've, I always get accused of that. You're okay with it because you're not the dude. Not there's anything wrong with the dude. Mm-hmm. But I don't want to always have to be the dude in our fake lesbian relationship, <laughs> in real lesbian relationships, or with dudes. I don't want to always have to be the dude. Okay? Okay. All right. I am a pretty girl. I'm not asking you. I'm a beautiful you. woman. Not, not that a dude in drag isn't either. Usually they're extremely hot. What? Mm-hmm. I, you know that I always wanted to be a drag queen when I grew up. I think you'd make a beautiful drag queen. Do you? Yes. Do you think I still can be? I think you can be anything you want to be. 
Okay. I want to be a pretty, pretty princess. And you can do that. Okay. Well. They have websites for that. Anyway. Lord, do they? They have a website for everything. I'll have to Google that later. So, so the boyfriend thing. Yeah. So, yeah. Nicole, I, I don't know. We were talking about that story. I don't want to spoil the story because it's a fun story. Oh, it's in a later And thing. It's in a later thing. Okay. But, yeah. But the whole point is, is that people always assume that. It could be because, you know, the way I usually dress versus the way she usually dresses. Um, you know, I'm like baseball cap, jeans, mm-hmm. t-shirt. And boots. Yeah. Yeah. No makeup, usually. And I, I usually and, yeah. go out with a full beat, like, full face, and, like, some type of cute-ish outfit. Lately, I've been kind of bumming it. Well, I think the world has. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you still fly. I, I know. You always. Stop. The hair matches the face, matches the dress, matches the shoes. Yeah. Matches the nails. Yeah, I usually, whatever. I mean, I do, I think, you know, I put out a little bit more feminine energy than you do. Oh, yeah, that's another show, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's why. Something to look forward to. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So that's a little test. Anyway, little as age. a joke, I was like, we should, what if we were called me and my boyfriend, Nicole? And then we had such a good laugh, and we were laughing with Trinity about it and we're like oh my gosh like that's kind of perfect it was mm-hmm. it was so us yeah that it just it fit like you know when you hear something mm-hmm. and you're like yes that's it that that's the it. moment yes yes because it's happened so long and so many times it's Same. it's not you nicole it's everyone else no i'm pretty sure it's me i mean yeah Plus, I don't give a fuck. Exactly. Why do you right? care? I don't know. Anyway. Remember the restaurant? What? The restaurant where I yelled out across the restaurant. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. She really took control. That was, I mean, <laughs> you know, if I was a a more interested woman, if we were together, that would have been a moment for me. Would that have turned you on? A little bit. Really? A little bit. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Would it have made you, you hot? Yeah, I mean, I think you, it made some other women in there hot. The ones I that were think, thanking me and stuff. Oh yeah, they were like, "Why don't you ever do that for me, honey?" Like, yeah, <laughs> yes. so basically, <laughs> <That> was, <laughs> we was at like a uh, Japanese steakhouse kind of thing. Yeah, right. And it was really, really busy. It and, was, um, you know, payday weekend. And but here's the thing, though, that place is like habitually understaffed. Yes. Yes. Like, they never have enough people working there. You always have to, like, wait. Yeah, yeah. And, but the food is awesome. Yeah, the it food's was really good. good. And it's, like, well-priced. So yeah, that's why exactly. people go. Right? So we had great service, great meal, even with all that, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Was, I mean, the reason everybody comes back. Then we go to pay, and we're up at the counter, and mm-hmm. there's a huge line. And the line is, like, filling the lobby, right? It's this is pre-COVID. Stuff. Yeah, this is before COVID. And there's, like... What, 20 of us up there? Yeah. Yeah. No, legit. Like, there was a yeah. lot of... We were all standing around. the whole restaurant was packed. Yeah. And we stood up there for over a half an hour. Waiting to pay politely, these people. Waiting to pay. And they were dropping off to go orders for other people. Like and crazy. those people were in there. And we're all just standing there like a big mob. Like, somebody please take our money, right? And <clears throat> people were starting to get very antsy and upset, right? People, like... I've never seen so many people... A, stand together so quietly and be like, yo, what's going on? So many people were contemplating Dine and Dash. Mm. But for some reason, none of us would do none it. Of us did. We all could have walked out. Anytime. At any point. Yeah. But we didn't, you know. Yeah. Good citizens. So, I proceed very nicely. Okay. Okay. There was a tone. There was a tone. But there was still nice words that came out of my mouth. Okay. And I... <laughs> Partake in a speech across the room and was like, hey, there's like two dozen of us up here trying to do the most important part of this transaction and pay you for the service that you rendered us. (laughs) Somebody want to take our money? (laughs) Like, Like, it was so bad that people legit started clapping. (laughs) Clapping, clapping. Yeah. And I was like, really? I'm serious. Yeah, Hello? someone come over here and take our money, please. We all still want a tip. <laughs> I'm like, 
<laughs> you got only so much more time before this mob walks out. And you, you know? lost so much money. Yeah, yeah. And there was a lady next to me, and she was like, that's really... I'm she was like, thank you. Yeah. I yeah. Legit, she turned around and was like, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Probably because we was all crowding into the tables, too, at this point. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, go? for real. We were, like, practically yeah. standing on top of that family. I'm like, where's the fire marshal now? No. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so... Then I look to my homies, you and Darlene and Nicole, uh-huh. right? As I'm standing there dressed in a baseball cap, no makeup. With your braids. Yes, my braids. I love my braids. Um, and everything. And I'm like, oh, is this why everybody thinks I'm always the dude? And all three of y'all were like, yep. Yep. <laughs> and of course, Darlene was like, well, that's part of it. And she's like <laughs> looking me up and down. And I'm like, oh. Well, damn. I know, right? Yeah, and then we went outside, mm-hmm. and there was another lady that was thanking me outside. Oh, yeah, that's right. Right? And I was like, I so could have nailed her. If I, I mean, you know, like, if yeah. I. I mean, if you well, were so I, inclined. Exactly. I am into chicks, but I was, like, not, like, trying to hook up with her. I was, she was attractive. I'm not saying anything. It's just that that wasn't what I was there for. I was there to hang out with my friends. Uh-huh. Right? If it makes you feel any better, you're the best boyfriend I've ever had. <gasps> oh. Except for one, you're the best girlfriend I ever had. I don't have a lot of competition. Well, yeah. I'm very <laughs> selective. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Make me feel right? better. You're a lot better than the one I went out with last year. Ooh. And this year. Wait, what? His wife called me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll talk about that later, too. Oh, that was a good one. Right. I didn't know. <laughs> you didn't know. I didn't. Right? I know you didn't know. And that know. was a lot of not sex. Yeah. That's a thing. What? What? The not having sex. Oh, okay. Yeah. We have not had sex. Well, I know. You and I have not had sex. I, I am very well we aware. Have, we have, like, not, not, not had sex. I know. There's I, there's no need for that. Right? But then there's other people that you're, you know, like, seeing or whatever, and you're like, we're not having sex. Mm-hmm. But you could. But we could. Uh-huh. Right. That's never been on the table. Not with you and me. No, I know. I'm just saying that's right? never, like, we are strictly friends. Yeah. That's why I'm saying there's only one girlfriend I had mm-hmm. that was a little bit better than you. Just a little bit. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. I we like to think that sex. I would, uh, I cover you emotionally. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you're my beard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. 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 No, I'm yours. What? I am the main. You're the main. You ain't the man. No, I'm the main. You are the main. That's right. I bow to you. You don't have to bow. I'm unworthy. No, You are stop. all that is right in You're the world. You're worthy. I'm not all that's right in the world. Stop. Bow to you. Well, Okay. Anyway. Anyway. So, our motivation for this podcast. Mm, she got serious. Is. We want you to be happy. And we want you to giggle and laugh. Mm-hmm. And to come away with this. Feeling better. Yeah. Like, whether it was a break in your day, you know, whether it was just an escape on the way to work or home, Mm -hmm. you know, like, just checking in and tuning in just to listen and have a good time. Um, We are going to share, you know, through conversations and interviews, serious stuff throughout this. Yeah, we are going to be vulnerable. I know we've kind of joked around a lot. Yeah. But we do really want this to be, like, a safe place for people to come and have, like, you know, a semi-serious conversation. Yeah. But, however, this is trauma with laughter. Okay? Oh, I love that. It is. That's a my, good tagline. My trauma makes me beautiful. That's right. It is. It is a beautiful part of me. Trauma with laughter. <laughs> it is. Trauma with laughter. Hey. Hey. The best medicine in the world. Okay? Besides medicinal. Is. Marijuana? No, the, besides that. Okay. Uh-huh. Is laughter. It is. It is. So. I mean, that's really true. Like, honestly, like that yeah. really, that does speak to me. How many times have you been having a bad day or I've been having a bad day? And like you just reach out and call, you know, that friend. Mm-hmm. 
And then, like, your whole day turns around. Like, they just gave you a whole new perspective. Like, they made you laugh a bit, a little bit. You got to cry with them a little bit. Yes. And, like, you just had this, like, cathartic release. Right. I think we really want to be that for somebody. Absolutely. And I want everyone to know that no matter what you're going through in life, mm-hmm. no matter what you're going through in life, you're not alone. Yeah. There's someone that has been through that or going through that, no matter what it is. Mm-hmm. And that life does go on. And all you have to do is just hold on till tomorrow. Like, just get up tomorrow. Yeah. Because you know what? What? Tomorrow, tomorrow. You sing with me. I love you tomorrow. I like to give you dead eyes You're to make you uncomfortable. Only Stop a it. Day nope. away. <laughs> that was so much. And I know. We've also been demonetized on YouTube. No. Nope. You're you're just further demonetizing our video. Mm-hmm. I, I can still hear you. And so can you too. <laughs> oh. Okay. It shouldn't count if I have a crappy voice. Somehow it does. Right. Look, I, okay, I am a little more knowledgeable on the the technology side, the YouTube side. You absolutely are. I believe you in everything you say and do. You're perfect and wonderful. And um, Nicole is what? our creative, Ta-da-da. like, moonbeam child. Like, you know, she just brings light and fun and laughter to a room and right you know i'm just like the dark crystal. cloud <laughs> yeah i can be a crystal i can be whatever that was a movie too i know i did i know dark crystal okay <laughs> i am slightly cultured i am slightly i was cultured. like my, the geek in me is gonna start bawling right now i know jim henson's right? dark crystal calm yourself okay i'm just telling you look labyrinth is one of my best friend's favorite movie i have to know <gasps> Dark Crystal. Okay? I love Labyrinth. Labyrinth is a good movie. I like it. You know, nothing quite like... I was dancing like... to that this morning in the kitchen. Oh, I love that song. What, the babe? Yeah. <laughs> you remind me of the babe. What babe? Yes. Babe with the power. I was what power? With the babe. Power of the who do you do? do? Power of the babe. <laughs> oh, so when it comes to a song you want to sing, then <laughs> it's all good. I could. You've already demonetized the episode. I might as well have a damn good time. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I'm going to have to Google that later. So, on YouTube... I guess we're talking about this. So No, we don't have to. No, 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 no. No, No, I mean, we talk about it. Okay. So, on YouTube... I really want to poke your boobs. What? They don't even look good right now. They're so big. I poked them. I feel better. Okay, go ahead. Am I demonetizing you now? (laughs) I mean, yes, this would be demonetized, but... (laughs) Okay. (laughs) No. um, So, on YouTube, you can monetize your videos, which means there will be AdSense, which means ads will play on your video... And you get money mm-hmm. because YouTube will pay you. Mm. Oh, okay. I got you. So you immediately get demonetized if you sing like a copyrighted music uh. on your video because people will claim it and they will claim all the AdSense. Is it just in that one episode or is it like all of them? Uh, it's on that one episode. Okay. Well then, since we're already like that, we might as well sing as much as we possibly can. Sure. Let's just make it karaoke night at this point. <laughs> You know, I've never done karaoke. Excuse you? I haven't. No, I've done stand-up. Have you ever done that shit? Okay, you're right. Okay, thank you. I love you. Okay, anyway, but if I did do karaoke, you, you What know. would be your song? Oh, my gosh. Okay, wait. Please don't ever do this song if you go karaoke. You want, Let me tell you the song that is just full-on disrespectful. You ready? Yeah. I and touch I love, myself? No. Oh, Okay. What? I love this song, uh-huh. but singing this song on a karaoke night is just full on disrespectful. What? Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> oh, that's fucking One, awesome. One, you are not Freddie Mercury, okay? Okay, but that is awesome. I love that song, and I I've will I've never the... seen anybody do that. Have you? What, sing Bohemian Rhapsody? Yeah. Yes, people do it all the time. I've never seen it. People, like... I would and... go crazy. What? No, I love Bohemian Rhapsody. Yes, Queen. I sing it all the time in my car. That's like legit one of my favorite songs. That song is so long and nobody can do Freddie Mercury justice. Mm. Just don't try. I thought the whole point of our show was to do everything you believe in and dream about and be who you are. I'm not knocking your dreams. But we never say don't try. Okay, I'm just saying be considerate of others and don't sing Bohemian Rhapsody on karaoke night. 
Okay. Unless That's what she says. I say that you should do it every karaoke night and pay respect to Queen because we are all queens. <sighs> I mean, I guess you're right. So either I'm not go trying with, to knock anybody's dream. Go here. with uh, blah, blah, or Nicole. Okay. The dark side. You'll be the rainbow and I'll be the dark cloud. No. You're my sparkle unicorn. I'm your sparkle unicorn. You sparkle and shine all the time. I do, but I like to keep it very dark and hidden. Like a hidden... I'm like a pearl. Right? And I bring out the light. You do bring out the light in me. Like, let's get serious for a second. Okay. You do bring out the light in me. You bring out one of the best sides of me. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. That I don't show people that often. Mm Mm-hmm. I have two sides, you know. Ooh, that's... You nodded very (laughs) hard on that. (laughs) I was like, you have two sides. I really want to ask your mom if she's sure about your birthday, because I think you're more of a Gemini. (gasps) Don't you do me that way. (laughs) (laughs) What? No, I think it still goes with the Libra thing. You know, Libra is a scale. It can tip either way. Mm Mm-hmm. And it's all about finding that balance. Mm. I'm always in search of balance. But yeah, I have like two sides. You call sides. it balance, I call it control. Ooh. What? Okay, we trying to get real here? We no, trying to, no, we trying to do some, not. We trying Don't to do pull some... out your lightsaber. I'm not trying to get real, okay? <laughs> we trying to do some... some no Harry Potter wands need to come out. With like, some psychoanalyze in here? Oh, we can analyze. Let me tell you, I went from stripper to social worker like that. It only took like 17 years, Okay. That sounds like growth to me. <laughs> oh, I guess we'll have to do that one too. So. <laughs> I love you. I love you. To the moon and back. Oh, Forever gosh. and always. XOXO, baby girl. Why, why you always, why you always got me so uncomfortable with your feelings? I have lots of feelings. I know. I love my feelings. They love you. I know. Do you really? Yes, I know you love me. You do? Yes. We're staring at each other very intimately right now. <laughs> like full on pillow talk. For people that are not dating, this is very intimate. I love you, Rora. Oh, yes, I do. I don't love anyone as much as you. No. If you're not near me, I'm blue. Oh, Aurora. Love mm. you. No, enough. Boobies. No, enough. What? Okay. Whenever you show me affection, I can literally feel my face fall. <laughs> and she is single, y'all. <laughs> she is single, available, and on Bumble for, <laughs> for one you... night only. No. Uh, okay. No. What? Affection makes me uncomfortable. I know. I'm. I'm shocked. Oh, but pain is okay. Oh, my gosh. That wasn't even a thing. You made it a whole thing. Oh, I feel like it is a whole thing. I feel like it needs a whole episode. (sighs) Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll do a whole thing about your freak meter, mine, and then a guest. Mm -hmm. I just had a a dirty joke. I'm just going to leave that one alone. No, tell me what. This is a safe place, baby. No judgment. Let's go. <laughs> Free for all. If you've made it this far into the episode, <laughs> bless you. <laughs> <laughs> I almost peed. Okay. <laughs> what? I'm saying a friend is always fun, too. I know, but what was... What? That was the joke. A friend is always fun, too. Oh, that is true. Right? Mm-hmm. I'm, but it's like two straight guys having sex with a chick and having a threesome. Uh-huh. Like, but I don't want to touch any of yours. What? And I don't want you to touch any of mine. There has oh, to be are you talking in about? Between. You talking about? We men? need cream filling in between. You like straight? Like straight men don't want to touch each other because yeah. they're just like so straight. You yeah, know? exactly. It's like so straight. Don't look me in the eyes, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine being a man. Like I can't either. But I so would for like one. I would love to know what that feels like for one day. I would I fuck everything in the world. I don't want to. Oh, know what I like would. To be a I man. would fuck everything. Yes. No, you wouldn't know why. Why? Because you, know Cause you don't have to have any feelings or emotions. As I'm not saying guys don't. I'm not saying that. But I feel like it's more about feel uh-huh. and like hormones and testosterone than it is for women. People might totally disagree with this, and by all means, you can write in whatever. But. I feel like for men, it's like, ooh, the wimp's blue. And, like, they just get hard and can just, like, fuck anything, right? Uh Uh-huh. And I just think that would be, like, so powerful and, like, fun. I would be such a whore as a man. 
But what? Nothing. I'm just saying I think that would be cool. I do not have penis envy, okay? I love my JJ. Love the boobs. You were just talking love about love it icing all. her. Well, that's because I gave her a lot of love. Mm-hmm. Well, I, some there was love given to her. Anyway, uh-huh. okay. But listen, listen, Linda. Okay, so, but I think it would be so cool to be able to just stick your dick in whatever you wanted, <laughs> and just fuck the shit out of it. No, it's called pegging. I'm not talking about a wall. I mean, like, I'm not. What? Never mind. Never mind. Oh, Never wait, mind. that's Never a different mind. thing. That's there a glory hall. There you go. <laughs> I don't want, no, I don't want to peg. I want to, that's not real. Like, I want to be able to physically feel it. I know what it. you mean. I literally know what you mean. No, I would not want to be a man. You know what's so amazing <laughs> what? about and being a woman? And to be able to woman? fart and, you like, burp anytime you want. You do that now. <laughs> Why are you saying, like, this is different? But nobody would say anything. I'm just saying. What? Anyway. Okay. You know why I wouldn't want to be a man? Why? You know what I love about being a woman? It's not a feelings and emotions. No, I'm dead inside. But <laughs> <laughs> No, what I love about being a woman is that, I don't know if y'all can hear Frankie, but she has very strong opinions about right? this conversation. Yes, yes, um, yes. No, I love being a woman because I can literally... Go from wearing what I'm wearing now, which is a crop top and bike shorts and Crocs, mm. with my hair all kinds of crazy, mm-hmm. to ha- nails done, hair done, everything did, like, fully embracing, like, my feminine side. Like, I feel like women have, like, more, they are allowed more range and spectrum mm-hmm. than men are when it comes to, like, emotions, career, like, mental, like, I just feel like we are allowed more freedom when yeah. it comes to really being whoever we want to be. Which, I I agree with you. But don't you think that's so ironic and kind of crazy, considering that for so long, we were not allowed to be anything but we're told to be. Yeah. Hence, for me, the term lady. Like, that's the four-letter word I can't stand. Because it's, you know, especially in the South, but it was everywhere, we were told, like, when I was growing up, you know, act like a lady, mm-hmm. talk like a lady, dress like a lady. You know, you're not behaving like a lady. It was mm-hmm. like a punishment thing. Like, uh, whatever you're doing is wrong and yeah. stop doing that and do what, you know, society, men, whatever, oh, yeah. are saying that you should do. You know? No, no. There are no no, res- restrictions and standards on women for sure. Yeah, but no. But now I think it's actually that men are the ones that are really restricted. Like you're saying. Yeah. And that women are the ones that can be whatever we want to be, mm-hmm. you know? And that men are more stuck in this bubble, whatever. Box, yeah. yeah. Saying that, you know, you have to be alpha. You have to be, you know, like this. Like, I just think it's really unfortunate that, like, men really can't even talk to women anymore. Like, have an actual conversation like you and I would? Yeah, like... Yeah. I just feel like they feel like they can't talk to women anymore. Yeah. And I just don't think that's fair. Like, I would like it that, like, we're all just humans living on this earth. You know right? what I mean? Like, so I feel like women kind of have it good that, yes, there is such a thing as the high standards, the unnecessary standards when it comes to, like, beauty and weight and, like, all kinds of that stuff. But, like, men mm-hmm. feel that pressure, too. Yes. But I f- still feel like women have it just a little bit better because we are really allowed to act in all of those spaces. I I agree. I agree. You know? And I just think that we would all be happier mm-hmm. on all levels. And that's one of, you know, our hopes with this show that we can affect that in some way as we are part of society. Yeah. Is to love yourself and who you are exactly the way you are. Yes. And that for us all to accept and embrace each other for exactly who we are mm-hmm. and just be happy. Yes. Just enjoy life. Just be present in today and realize it is a gift to be here today and just live in gratitude for what, you know, the beautiful life you have. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. I know I joke like I'm dead inside and like I hate people. Like I'm a nihilist. But I'm really not. Um, no. That's just a 
a front I like to put on. Right. You can't hurt me if I hurt you first. It's your mask. It it's is okay. My, it is my mask. Right. No, but I really do want to be, like, that safe place for people. Like, mm-hmm. I want you to follow dreams. Like, we're following our dreams right now. Like. Hell to the yeah. Literally. Literally. Like, Love we, that word. Literally. <laughs> Not fairly. Literally. Literally. But, yeah. Like, we're putting it all out there. Yeah. And we mean, said that we would only do it if we were completely ourselves, mm-hmm. right? Yep. And that no subject is too deep, you know, no subject is off limits. Mm-hmm. And that we will tell 100% the truth yeah. and be us. Because there's no point in doing it if we're not, you know, going to. If we're going to be fake, like, there's nothing. And also, we still want to be having a good time. Oh, 100%. At the end of the day. Yes, it's all about... It's all about you and me, boo. Yeah. Right? We're friends first. Girl power. Yes. What? what? Explode. Um, friends first, podcast or second. Like, I really, like, I've really been having a good time doing this. Mm-hmm. And I want to continue this trend. Like, I don't mm. want this ever to be something so serious that people feel like they can't come here and relax. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I want it to feel like people are sitting down with, like, two friends. Two best buds, two friends. Right? Who may be a little bit gay. <laughs> <laughs> Just not with each other. Just not with each other. Not with each other. So, so, if no one's told you today, we love you. Yeah. You're perfect just as you are. Shine, baby, shine. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. Okay, sorry. That just, like, took me to a moment. Did you ever see that movie Life Size with Tyra Banks and Lindsay Lohan? Was she a doll? Yeah. Yeah. That was one of my favorite movies growing up. Anyway. But, like, that little moment was like, shine bright, shine far, be a, be a bright, Superstar. be a star, be who you are. <laughs> 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 I don't know. That's, like, kind of the lyrics. Oh, that's awesome. If it's not, that's so our song now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully sung better. That I don't think those were the exact lyrics now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, okay. Anyway. But go ahead. I didn't want to interrupt your moment, but I had to have my moment. No, your moment was beautiful. Thank you. It it outshone mine. It, I have nothing to say now. Oh, stop. I'm so good. You always have something to say. I do. I do. I hope that everyone has had the emotional and physical fulfillment of the day. Oh, and you I- already had yours this morning. You had to get off the phone real quick with me. <laughs> Gotta go. Bye. Um... <laughs> So, I just hope everybody's having a super awesome day and that, you know, you all know that you are perfect exactly as you are and that you're worth it. You're worth every breath you take. I really hate that song. You want to know why? Why? That song is so creepy. Do you know most songs are creepy if you really think about it? If you didn't know the person, right? And Uh someone's just singing to you about how much they love you and they want to be with you no matter what. It would be, it's kind of like stalker songs. Yeah, but that's, like, a legit stalker song. Yeah. Like, that man, I yeah. can't remember his name, he wrote that song about his ex-wife. Okay. And he was like, hey, girl, every breath you take, every move you make, I'm going to be watching you. Doesn't sound romantic now. No, it's not. That might explain <laughs> a lot of my past relationships and issues. Mm-hmm. Childhood trauma. Whoop, whoop. Third date. Third date. <laughs> <laughs> See you there. See you on the third date, y'all. See you on the flip, flip side. <laughs> All right. Well, have a beautiful, wonderful day. Hope you enjoyed it. Right. Oh, um. so this is our first podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're releasing this on Halloween. Right. Happy Halloween. Hi, Happy Mom. Halloween. Happy birthday, Mom. Happy Day of the Dead and Hallow's Eve. And... It's my mom's birthday. That's way more important. Happy birthday, Miss Lola. There we go. That's Most better. Most beautiful woman in the whole world. That's better. That's right? better. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, hi, Mom. If you made it this far, Mom, I am so sorry. <laughs> also, I'm sorry, Dad. Like, I don't even know what happened. Like, <laughs> There you go, bragging, bragging about your healthy relationship with your parents, okay? And how they're both alive and here. Who would you like to apologize to, Nicole? I will not apologize to anyone because... I stand by every word I said. I'm going to listen to this again because I don't know what I said. But <laughs> I stand behind it. And I'm being my true self. So I am not sorry about nothing. Sorry. If I'm I am, sorry. if I listen to this and I realize I am sorry about something, that'll be on the second episode. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so we release our podcast every Monday. Mm-hmm. So tune in. Yes. Every Monday. Every Monday. Best way to start your week. Hell yeah. All right. High five. Whoop, whoop. Let's do this. Rock out with your cock out, right? No Rock different out show? with your crock out. Cro- oh, your crock out. Oh, that's so cute, baby girl. That I you love wear the crocs. crocs. I, I know. Love crocs. All right. Well, see you on Monday. Thanks so much for listening, guys. Right. And then, you know, like there'll be a whole bunch of places you can find us. We'll mention that next time. Or it'll be below. I oh, know. I How mean, does go? like all of our like Instagram, you know, Facebook, exactly. Twitter, like me and my boyfriend Nicole, and except for on Twitter. Oh yeah, and on TikTok, we are me and my BF Nicole because Twitter got to be extra. Okay. Um, follow us there. Check us out. Like we're funny or whatever. We're amaze balls. Yeah, I know. All right, more I'm... to be continued. Yes. I like... mwah, 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 mwah. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye.